Minnesota normally has the perfect winters for dog sledding season, but even an almost snowless winter can't slow down this sport. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath takes us along for the ride as she shows us how one Brainerd musher trains her pack of furry friends. The sound of dogs barking and howling breaks through the bitter cold morning air. It's dog sledding time at the Wolf Moon Kennel, and only one thing can quiet these canines' cries of pulling a sled through the snow, even when snow is scarce. Still is fun. Mm -hmm. It's just a little different experience than being on the sled. Wolf Moon Kennel dog sled rides owner Charlotte Wolf has had her recreational dog sledding team for three years, but she has been running dogs for more than 20 years. I ended up with four, and then I got eight, and now I've got 16. <laughs> It kind of grows on you like potato chips. So in a nearly snowless season, Wolf trains with the wagon, a triangle-shaped frame attached to three wheels. We still do the same thing. We train them. We go out and run them, and they get their exercise. They build up their stamina, and as soon as the snow comes, we're ready for it. And while Wolf has 16 dogs, she never runs all of them at the same time. That's kind of like driving a 747 in McDonald's. <laughs> It's a little hairy. After the dogs are attached to the main gang line, they're then attached to a neck line and a tug line. Now the dogs are all hooked up and ready to go, so it's just a simple hike to get them on their way. Hike! Unlike in the movies, the best dog sledding breed is not the Siberian Husky, but the mixed breed Alaskan Husky. They all start with a base of one of the winter northern type breeds like Husky or Malamute, and then they mix in Greyhound, Harrier, Wolfhound, things that are faster in order to build up their speed and stamina for racing. Once these pooches' paws hit the ground, these once unruly and whiny dogs become quiet and attentive to their musher's command. On by. A musher only has a few simple commands. Hike, Hike to go, G to turn right, Girl. paw to turn left, on by to keep them going straight, ho. and ho or whoa to stop. You can't stop these dogs from running, honestly. Ready? Dog sledding has been a huge part of Minnesota's culture and still is today. And just like snow in Minnesota, mushers like wolf are becoming scarce. So catching up with these athletes is a rare opportunity and totally worth the ride. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. And Wolf gives recreational rides at events around the Brainerd area or by request. And if you have an idea for an In Focus, you can tweet, email, or post them on our Facebook page. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.